Iowa's Caitlin Clark draws historic viewership numbers for WNBA broadcast partner CBS. It's a full sweep for Caitlin Clark and her Iowa Hawkeyes. The Big Ten championship game between Iowa and Nebraska averaged more than 3 million viewers and peaked at 4.45 million viewers when it went to overtime on CBS, the company announced on Tuesday. Iowa won its third consecutive Big Ten title, 94-89, after Clark bounced back from a four-point first half. It is the seventh network to reach historic rating marks from the national interest in Clark, the NCAA all-time leading scorer after passing Pete Maravich's legendary record this month. And the final of the big three networks, ABC, CBS, NBC, plus Fox, to post most watched numbers for Iowa games. Free bracket contests for men's and women's tourneys for shot at $25,000. Unlike most of those other networks, CBS is already a WNBA broadcast partner with potential to air more Clark games this year when she's in the pros. Clark said she will enter the 2024 WNBA draft, where she's likely to go number one to the Indiana Fever. She's expected to boost attendance and viewership numbers immediately with casual viewers tuning in to see her. Given the numbers that the Iowa women's team has been pulling in on big networks, it's just an indication of all the disruption in media and now how broadcast partners are looking at the women's game the women's college game as well as the WNBA, WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert said on a video call with a group of reporters last week. Yeah we're getting calls about her games. CBS aired the Big Ten title game at 12 p.m. ET, 9 a.m. Pacific time and 11 local time in Minneapolis, as a lead into its men's slate for the day. It was the most watched basketball game, college or pro, of the day on any network, CBS Sports said. Iowa and Clark hold the crown of most watched women's basketball games of all time on ABC, Big Ten Network, Fox, FS1, NBC and Peacock. Iowa's quarterfinal against Penn State, 1.04 M, and semifinal against Michigan, 1.075 M, reset the Big Ten Network's high and are the second and third most watched basketball games in BTN history. Fox aired the Iowa-Ohio State regular season finale, 3.39 M in which Clark passed Maravich for the most watched women's basketball game since that 1999. The highest viewed game is Iowa and LSU in the 2023 national championship game that drew 9.9 .9 million on ABC. It did not reach that all-time level for CBS, but came close. The Big Ten title game was the most watched women's college basketball game on the CBS networks in 25 years. A January 10, 1999, meeting between legendary rivals UConn and Tennessee averaged 3.879 million viewers. The CBS numbers are notable because the broadcaster began airing WNBA games in 2019 mainly on CBS Sports Network. Four games aired on the main CBS network last year, providing a larger reach for the league as it focuses on household names, rivalries, and games of consequence. Engelbert said. Engelbert said the broadcast assignments of games are generally done by this time and it wasn't official that Clark would enter the league until February 29th. It's also not official though it is almost certain that she will be drafted by the Fever. Indiana opens its 2024 schedule on the road at the Connecticut Sun, featuring MVP candidate Alyssa Thomas, on May 14th. The home opener is May 16 in Indianapolis against finals runner-up New York with MVP Brianna Stewart, John Cole Jones, Sabrina Ionescu, and Courtney Vandersloot. Indiana plays the super team again four days later at Barclays Center in New York for a 1 p.m. ET tip on a Saturday. Seats in the upper 200 level are already going for around $140 each on secondary sites. Tickets for the lower bowl on the Liberty's official website begin at $300 as of Tuesday morning. The day and time slot for Indiana New York lines up with CBS games aired last season, including their first between the Sun and Liberty. The WNBA released the broadcast schedule one week before the season tipped last year.